8, Jenny is here with us on this Friday morning, and that must mean you have some trending yep. news for us. What, what are you looking at today? Well, I'm fully in holiday mode, so. Oh, yeah, I think we all are. <laughs> Thanksgiving's <laughs> over. We're allowed to be now. Right. So. Being that it's the holiday season, there's a big event happening in a little town near us. The Red Lodge Christmas Stroll will kick off this evening. And it is a magical um, time in Red Lodge. We close down the street. There's fireplaces burning up and down Broadway, which is our main street. Santa Claus is pulled in um, on a horse-drawn wagon. And it really is that winter postcard feel. And for those of you who haven't gone, they also do a really cool blue light ceremony at 5 o'clock, which pays homage to the fallen police officers that have passed away in the line of duty. There's also a little kids parade where they all line up with their lanterns. It's hot cocoa and snacks all around, and most of the shops will be open until 9 for people to go check out. Cute. Sounds like uh, if you're not in the holiday spirit yet, that will definitely put you in yeah. it. <laughs> and then there are wagon rides, too, so that will definitely, oh, yeah. definitely. <laughs> All right, and then back here in Billings, there was a really cool story. A Vietnam and Korea vet suffered some injury to his spinal cord and has been in a wheelchair for 51 years. He is able to drive, but he's been using a mildly adaptive wheelchair. Uh, Miguel Gonzalez of Warrior Wishes met him at the VA, and he was in a PTSD group with him. They took him in, he found community, and his shoulders have suffered over the years from transferring in and out of this chair. He was gifted this chair completely free of cost, oh. and it stands him up and everything. There, it was about a fifteen thousand dollar chair. Wow, wow, that's amazing. He's yeah. going to be able to do so much right. more now, right? And have some more freedom. Great. Absolutely, definitely deserves it too. And then the next story here in Billings again. This is a place that's very near and dear to my heart. They were, as most of you know, hit by a fire earlier in the week. This is the Grind House. Um, it started in the adjoining business, but this is kind of some of the damage that was done to the actual grindhouse. They will be holding a Fusion Fight League Fight for a Cause Benefit on December 15th, which is, you can go actually watch the fights. Um, it's called Seasons Beatings, which is kind of <laughs> funny to me. Um, and the benefit will be for the Grundhauser family. Will and Brittany are just really awesome people, so it's really sad to see them go oh through something gosh, like that. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. It's just, you right. know, one yeah. of those things you walk in and you're like, where do I even begin right. cleaning up? Yeah. Yeah, wow. A lot affected by that fire. It's really yeah. a sad situation. Yes. <clears throat> and I know you can check out on all of those Facebooks to see additional ways to help, I think, all of those businesses. Yeah. All right. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for bringing uh, local awareness. I love it. All right.